Stand by for action. Shore, Lieutenant, Atlanta, meet Marina, the latest recruit to the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Marina, well, what do you know? Yeah, well, uh, as I were saying, at least we know what we're up against. Well, I certainly know what I'm up against. <laughs> Stingray, the famous television submarine, prepares for action. Stand by for excitement. It's a triumph for Stingray, and a further success for technicians at a British film studio. For Parade has been invited behind the scenes of the world-famous television series, Stingray where skillful science deceives the eye and nothing is what it seems to be. And, as you'll probably guessed, the stars of the studio are man-made puppets, which are known and recognized around the world. 
for Stingray goes to many different countries, including Kenya and Bermuda. Fashioned from fiberglass and made almost alive by painstaking artistry, they bring the age-old art of puppetry truly into the 20th century. As well as looking true to life, these puppets of tomorrow can talk like human beings as well. A magnet fixed to the back of the head receives electric impulses which move the lips in perfect time to the words they speak. Stingray came about because I was thinking, OK, we've made a puppet western. We've made um, kind of a, a show with a fancy car. Uh, we've made a space show. Uh, well, what are we going to do next that is different? So, underwater. Proceed at full speed. First vessel is going to blow up in two and a half hours. Yes, sir. Two and a half hours, eh? Well, we'll be there in about two. Jack, that leaves 30 minutes to find out what's going on before number one goes up. Stingray's leading character was Troy Tempest. The face of the puppet was loosely based on American movie star James Garner. And then there was Marina, a beautiful mermaid who was unable to talk. I was particularly keen on Marina. I mean, Marina had a voluptuous figure, pouting lips. I mean, she was gorgeous. And in addition to all that, she couldn't speak. Wonderful. The perfect woman. I mean, try making a character like that today. Can you just imagine? Marina, I Marina, what strange that start whenever you're near? Marina, I Why can't you whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear? Like its predecessors, Stingray was a huge success, both here and in the USA. Agent X-20, report. Oh, Titan, ruler of the underwater city of Titanica, I have just observed the testing of a new marine missile by the Turanians. Of what use is this report to me, Agent X-20? The missile would be an invaluable asset in your war against Troy Tempest and Stingray. How can we get the missile? There will be another test tomorrow. Very good. It will be attended to. I have long awaited the chance to gain revenge on Tempest. Got something? Well, there's some kind of underwater craft down there, that's for sure. Can you get a fix on his position? Nothing could be easier. <laughs>
favorite, that silent undersea beauty, Marina. Plus, let's not forget that delightful denizen of the deep, Oi, the Zilpa. Watch as Agent X-20 spies on the World Aquanaut Security Patrol from his island lookout. Shiver as the evil titan plots to destroy Marineville. And thrill to the exploits of that super submarine, Stingray. All 39 action-packed episodes are included, plus a making of documentary, an interview with series creator Jerry Anderson, and audio commentary from the show's creators. Does Troy love Atlanta, or does his heart belong to Marina? All we know is that the song over the closing credits is about Marina. Close to my heart. 